Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be solving this interesting killer calculus question from Korean SAT map, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. f of x is a cubic function with leading coefficient of one. And there's no integer k satisfying f of k minus one times f of k plus one to be less than zero. And if f prime of negative one over four is negative one over four, and f prime of one over four is negative, what's the value of f of eight? So we're talking about f of x as a cubic function with a leading coefficient of positive one. So your f of x should be looking just like this. Then at the same time, we already know f prime of negative one over four. This is negative one over four, this is less than zero. And at the same time, question also gave you f prime of 1 over 4 is less than 0. So that means f of x is decreasing and x is negative 1 over 4 and positive 1 over 4. So that is why we can only look at this interval of your f of x. This is the only area that we're looking for. Since f of x is decreasing when x is negative 1 over 4 and positive 1 over 4. And those two values of the x is in this interval. Okay, at the same time, the condition is there's no integer value k satisfying f of k minus 1 times f of k plus 1 to be negative. So that means f of k minus 1 times f of k plus 1. This should then be greater than or equal to 0. Then at the same time, 0 has to be included on this interval. And k minus 1 and k plus 1 are two parts. So we can just talk about three cases. Case number one is if zero is an inflection point. So case number one should be looking just like this. Zero is an inflection point. Then your graph is looking like this, your f of x. And zero has to be here. And negative one and positive one should be located here and there. So we can say f of negative one should be negative. And f of positive one should be positive. So in this case, f of k minus one times f of k plus one is going to be now negative, right? So that means there is the k value that will satisfy this. But the question said, there's no integer value k satisfying this inequality. So that's why this is not the case we need to look for. And then we have two more cases. Case number two would be we have 0 and 1 as the roots. And the other root has to be negative number, but it is slightly greater than negative 1. And case number three has to be having negative 1 and 0 as the roots. And the other root has to be positive, but slightly less than positive 1. So let's talk about case number two. Case number two is such that zero and one are the roots. And then the other root has to be negative, but it is slightly greater than negative one. So it should be looking just like this. So this is f of x. And the roots are now zero and now one. And this is the other root, but this root has to be slightly greater than negative one. So negative one should be here. And I'll be calling this root as just the A. And case number three, case number three is now having negative one and zero as the roots. And the other root has to be positive, but it's slightly less than positive one. So it should be looking like this cubic function of the f of x. The roots are now negative one, and zero. Okay, then let me put this one here because the other root has to be positive, but that is slightly less than positive one. So I'll be calling the other root has to be then B. Okay, so that we can make f of x as a factor of the form for both of these two cases, right? So case number two, your f of x. Since question ready said the leading coefficient of this cubic function is positive one. So we can represent your f of x as now x times x minus 1 times x minus a. And for case number 3, we can represent your f of x as x times x plus 1 
times x minus b. Okay, so let's expand these two cases, right? So for case number two, f of x has to be x squared minus x times x minus a. So this is going to be then the same as x cubed. And then minus parenthesis a plus 1, x squared, and then plus ax. Case number 3, if you expand everything, then it is x squared plus x times x minus b. Then this is going to be the same as x cubed and minus b minus 1, x squared, and minus bx. And either 2 or 3 would be true. And then we have a condition about this f prime of negative 1 over 4. That is negative 1 over 4. So let's think about f prime of x for those two cases. So case number 2, f prime of x is then going to be now 3x squared minus parenthesis 2 times parenthesis a plus 1, x plus a. And then for case number 3, f prime of x is the same as 3x squared minus 2 times b minus 1, x minus b. Okay, then let's use this condition. f prime of negative 1 over 4 has to be negative 1 over 4. And make sure case number 2 is 0 and 1 are the roots, and the other root is negative, but it's slightly greater than negative 1. And case number 3 was negative 1 and 0 were the roots, and the other root was positive, but that is slightly less than positive 1. That is something we should remember. And then using this condition, f prime of negative 1 over 4 is negative 1 over 4. Let's plug it into this case number 2. So for case number 2, f prime of negative 1 over 4. Okay, so let's make a calculation. This is 3 over 16 and plus 1 over 2. Parenthesis, a plus 1 and plus a. And then this has to be equal to a negative 1 over 4. So making a calculation for this, it is the same as now 3 over 2 times a plus 11 over 6. That is negative 1 over 4. So the value of the a is then going to be the same as now negative 5 over 8. This was from case number 2, right? And it turned out this last root in case number 2 was negative 5 over 8. And we already talked about the value of the a. That is negative value, and that is slightly greater than negative 1. So that is why this makes sense. What about case number 3? So if you plug it in negative 1 over 4 to the x, then we have f prime of negative 1 over 4. Let's make a calculation for this, right? This is 3 over 16 uh, plus... 1 over 2, parenthesis b minus 1, and now minus b. This has to be negative 1 over 4. So let's get the value of the b, right? So making a calculation for this, we should have then negative 1 over 2b, and minus 5 over 16. This is negative 1 over 4. So that's why calculating for the value of the b, your b should turn out to be uh, negative 1 over 8. So the last root in case number 3 turned out to be negative 1 over 8. But we already talked about the value of the b, which has to be positive value, but it's slightly less than positive 1. But your b turned out to be negative 1 over 8. So this is not the case. So that confirms that case number 2 is the one that we're looking for. So we can make your f of x using these values, right? Then your f of x is going to be then the same as x times x minus 1 times x plus 5 over 8. And the question is asking for the value of f of 8, right? So f of 8 that the question is asking for. Okay, then this is 8 times 7. Okay, then that times 8 plus 5 over 8. So if you calculate it, that is 69 over 8. So it looks like we can cancel this 8 out. So f of 8 has to be 7 times 69. This is 483. So 483 was the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting killer calculus question from Korean SAT math. How amazing.